Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, it's morning. a bit wobbly. Jack is taking me on a hike through new places I have never been. It's not really a hike. It's, it's just it's an a amble, an amble. It's not a hike at all. We are going foraging for things that will be fantastic for my herbie nonsense and general well-being. Yes. And I have my bag of pots to put it all in. don't know if you can see this but this is puffing out pollen or seeds or it'd be seeds wouldn't it no it won't be seeds well, there's how why would it be pollen if there's no actual flowers left well because the flowers will be on another plant the one will be a male and one will, and the receiver will yeah, be a female but usually don't you need a plant uh, like a flower to puff it's not going to puff now is it puff out please go puff please I wonder if it was the fly touching it that... <laughs> there you go! Oh, did you see it? I saw that. I reckon that's a male sending out pollen and then the female will receive it. will receive it and then make the seeds. So are these puffy balls what is releasing? I think so. And then, so the seeds that I want would probably be these ones? Mm, yeah, I was going to say, these look more seed-like, I would say. Because that is different to the other plant. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the puff ball -y one, isn't it? So... Should I try and collect these? And then I can Google. We have no Google, which is really annoying because we have no signal. And I was using Google to help me identify in our in our very uh, learner state that we're in. I can collect things, can't I? And then identify better at home. I did think about putting some uh, little kid scissors in. Oh, well. I do have some in the car. I should have brought them. Yeah, actually, I've got some in the van. No pain, no gain, though. If I, you know, get stung, then it's a little tingle. Um, you know, it's the price I'd pay for taking away their uh, seeds. Thank you for sharing with me. But there's a little, yes, it's not like it's stingy, but there's like a, a tingle. There is a theory that you should ask before you take. I'm thanking it. <laughs> <laughs> it. What's that? Is that that's another theory, isn't it? It's easier to ask forgiveness than to ask permission. <laughs> yeah. Something that. Thank you. I won't take any more of yours. I shall look for someone else. Thank you, lovely. Jackie has spotted our mid-morning snack. Thank you very much for. Bounty. Yes, your wonderful bounty. We shall definitely enjoy those. Jackie is being eaten by everything else, so they're enjoying their breakfast too. Mm. They seem to like Jackie a lot. Ooh. Jackie's trying not to eat bugs at the same time. Mm, they are good. <laughs> You're going quite low. You do realise a dog might have weed on those. Yeah, that's true. Extra flavour when you go low. That sounds really dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> I totally dropped that one down my cleavage. <laughs> we found shrooms. Not sure what they are though, so we won't be eating those. And we found this very pretty flower. It doesn't like to get close up though, so if I can try and get an image of it here and I'll zoom in during editing. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to Google it when we have a signal. So I'm going to collect a mixture of flowers. Oops. And leaves because we're not really sure which part is the best bit but i'm sure all of it will be beneficial I'm sure we've done a bit of research to make sure we leave some for the butterflies we'll just take a little bit mm -hmm. So delicately done. Hmm. Need a lid. Which fell in here. Fell in. 
Where did it come? I hope it fell in. Oh, yeah, there it is. Got it. And then I need my pen. And I need my sticker. Make one of those first botanist explorers. Yeah. Collecting samples. I'll put that in there. <laughs> mm. What did we say this was? Dead nettle? Uh, uh, wound, 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 wound wart. Wound wart. That was the one. Wound wart. Google what I can do with it. In my baggy. Off we go. I'm going to collect some of these clover flowers while I'm here. Jackie has found something from a pea family by the looks of it, but we're not really sure what that is. We will be doing some investigating later. We're trying to work out what that is. Jackie said she Googled it the other day. I think I'm going to take some because she did think it has some sort of health properties. I think it's a, it's a sort of... Clover it's got clovery leaves. Right, yeah. I'll take some in a pot and we'll identify it. We are probably doing this completely the wrong way. You should not be picking things unless you know what they are. Mm -hmm probably completely wrong but we're novices plantain oh you found some oh yeah well done yeah down the bottom i was just discussing plantain with jackie and how it's used and she's now just found one so she's going to um there's two types so that's the very thin leafed plantain the one i usually find is the thick leafed like the round leafed one mm. but they're both very very good for um for healing wounds I was just pulling this down because there's always those little orangey red beetles on this plant. And then I've just noticed there's some other beetles on there as well. They're very cool looking, yellow and black. I found a snail. He's clearly not being stung. This caterpillar has just come down from the tree on a on a dingly dangly thread of silk or web or whatever you'd call it. Oh, wriggle, wriggle. There we go. Well, it looks like a stick. So it's gone into defence mode now. I yep. am a stick. I am a stick, not a caterpillar. Do not eat me. Well, you know it's very what? Clever. You shouldn't have come dangling down in front of us when we were walking. And you were in the U shape. <laughs> yeah, you. made you a bit more obvious. It's come down from the beech tree up here. That is a beech tree, isn't it? it yes, is a beech, tree. beech tree. I always second guess myself. Would you like to go back into the tree? Just no, I've just abseiled down from there. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll put you down here in the leaf litter. There you go. We are hoping the pub is open so we can get a cold drink. Whoops. Open Monday from Monday three o'clock. Okay, what about the rest of the days? What do you think it's open? I guess they'll kick us out if it's not. I like the tent. That's nice. We have stopped for some refreshing beverages. Cool beverage. Mm. It's one o'clock and I now need to go home and uh, start taking everything out of Spog for his renovation and his bodywork to be done. Uh, I've just noticed, well I knew I'd parked in the pond, not a pond but a puddle. I hadn't realised how stagnant the water was and there's a lot of flies on it. So I'm going to move. And there's Jackie, we'll just wave goodbye to Jackie. Goodbye Jackie. I've got to pull all of this out. All of it. Every bit. So that Spog can get fixed. And then I'm hoping I can put all the panelling back on, get new carpet, and then like carpeting that way, and put Spog back together again with some changes. 
because now my job's changed I don't need as many seats so that whole bench that you are currently sat on is going to go which then affects my electrics because my electrics are attached <laughs> and hidden under there I'll work it out it'll all come together I'm sure there I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by the whole thing, but I need to make a start. I've put it off and put it off because I'm scared. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, everything is out of the cupboards and what have you. Um, the biscuits are keeping us going. I need to remove the bench seat, which I'm gonna probably need Lee's tools for that. Um, but this is being uh, earthed on this. So I'm gonna ring Donnie and get some advice on which way round I do everything. dust in my eyes right now to the next one ready yeah. we've got jerk chicken and I've got guacamole creme fraiche and some salad leftover salad to have Kenzie's just having the spicy chicken yes mm -hmm. yes well the playroom <laughs> was relatively clear in a fashion and now it's got all the van stuff in it as well uh yeah um we're we're just going with it there's nothing i can do about it i feel like as quickly as i'm clearing things up i'm making more mess but i know that this room doesn't need to be used now so it can stay like this and i just don't need to worry about it for now get the van sorted and then I can get back to doing this job but the van is the next big job um I need to pull the walls off I had that issue with the battery um overcharging uh yeah <laughs> I just I just I feel a bit overwhelmed by it to be honest but I know it needs doing so I'm just gonna keep on with it it rattles now and it's very, very echoey in there, but I can drive it safely. Um, and then probably Friday, I will start pulling off the walls um, and have a think about some of the problematic bits like the diesel tank for the heater and things like that. Um, I'm gonna have to re-carpet the bottom because where this bench seat was, there's rust all over the carpet and it's welded into it. Um, yeah, and I think there's going to be more things I'm going to find once I've pulled the side panels off, I suspect. I'm hoping I can reuse the side panels. That's what I'm really hoping. Anyway, anywho, tomorrow I'm having cups of tea with various people. So I'm going to hopefully have a bit of downtime tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go and have a cold bath now. And just have a bit of a down day tomorrow chilled day and then work tuesday wednesday thursday and yeah then back to it on friday anyway thank you very much for watching you lovely lot if you want to watch more of the van rip out i will have a separate video of just the van rip out rather than just a few elements of it like i've shown you just now um so that will go up separately um i'll see you all tomorrow